Hi there, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Whenever you see me with this little wig cap, I'm getting ready to make a special hair unit and do a much needed transformation. Beach is coming up, you want an easy hairstyle. I am going to show you an easy way to make an afro curly topper that you can clip on, wrap a scarf around, go on the beach with your little bathing suit and look super cute. So, let's get started. They're so easy to make, you're gonna wonder why you haven't done it sooner. I'm going to use black lace for this particular topper. These Taylor chalks are irreplaceable as far as I am concerned for marking lace or stretch fabric. What I've done here is taken a six inch circumference bowl and place it right on the lace. That's gonna give you a moderate, nice size topper. I try to use as little fabric as possible, so I'm gonna go over and get just enough for this bowl to cover. Go all the way around, stopping at little corners to make sure you get the round circle. And to make sure that it's symmetrical, fold it in half and make sure that it aligns and it's even. Another item you need, your fine and valuable, are your pins. When you get your sewing kit together, you're gonna love having everything that you need at your disposal. Once you have lined up the circle and make sure that it matches, it's totally symmetrical, just pin it together. Don't pin across the line that you've drawn because you're gonna have to cut that. I will put a link in the description where you can get all of your little sewing supplies. I get them at Amazon.com because it's so convenient. So I will link that for you so you can get your supplies and get started on making your toppers for this summer. Now to make your topper two dimensional so that it will mold to your head, you're going to need to put a couple of darts and darts are just little fold lines. This is another little handy tool. It has measurements up to six inches and it's on a straight line so you can be assured that it's straight. You can also move this little dial. For example, if you want something a half inch and you move it to a half inch, you can be assured that it's going to be a half inch all the way around. I like to make my darts about an inch long. Just put you a little mark right there. On the other end, I'm going to put another mark there. I'm going to go ahead and fold it again and do the same thing. One inch right in the center. On that side. And on this side. And from that top line where you measured one inch, you're going to take it and go straight down to that quarter of inch. And you will do that with each of the darts. And you got a dart there. And same thing on the other side. It's like a little V. I should have said that first. It makes it easier. And then this is what all of your darts look like. Just fold it like you had it before and put a pin across that line for the dart. We've made all of the darts. Very easy so far, right? And you see how it contours to the shape of your head. So let's go over to the sewing table. This is just gonna be the top closure part for my topper. I have these bundles of hair that I got from the beauty supply, not expensive at all. And it very closely matches my closure here. And once you ruffle the hair and give it texture, there is no difference and you've got you an inexpensive topper that you can make for about $25. It's a good idea to have you a seam ripper nearby because we all make mistakes. I know I certainly do. And normally you have a guide on the top of your machine that shows you how to thread where I pinned across the line. You're going to sew from this point to that point right on the line you've made. Raise your needle up whenever you take the fabric out so that it's automatically set to start again. There is your first dart. When you open it, you can see how it has added a contour shape. 
and just center your topper. And now your topper is ready for the little closure. So you want to place the wrong side of the closure to the wrong side of the topper and just center it. Now I'm going to sew the closure onto the topper by just sewing very close to the edge all the way around, making sure there are no puckers on the inside. You can also sew it on by hand if that's your preference. Following the circular pattern. Pull your needle high and leave it there so it's ready to go back into the fabric when you're ready to start. Get rid of all the annoying little strings that can be a pain if you don't get them out at this point. And as you can see, your little closure is sewn onto your topper. And now you just want to turn up the entire perimeter just like this and put pins in it. If some of the fabric puckers, that's okay while you're sewing. They will go right in place. Make sure you don't put the pins into the wig head. You want to put it into the fabric, just like that, all the way around. Now what I normally do is once I get started, is to take the pins out and lift it off of the wig head as I'm going. Try to make sure that your fold is even and narrow. Use as many pins as you need on the fold so it makes it easier for you when you get it into the sewing machine. And just take your time and go around so it's nice and neat. back on the mannequin. How close you put your tracks together is going to determine how thick and how full your unit's going to be. Put the pin in to get you started. Place the track where you want it to be or where it needs to be and insert the needle into the thick part of the track. You don't want to go too far down or too far up. It's great to try to be right on the edge and you can see where they sewn the two tracks together and that's where you might want to try to put your line. I've sewn the tracks all around the perimeter as close to the edge as possible. You see where it joins right there? Just move it up and start sewing around and around. If you want the unit to be thick, sew them closer together. As you're sewing, open up so you can see the track beneath. Now, if you're somewhere like that, that's too wide. You can actually judge with your eye by looking underneath and just going all the way around like a clock hand. And I'll show you how to join the weft with the closure. I'm getting close to the closure. You don't want to put it too close up onto the hair or it's not going to fall correctly. This is where you really want it to look really seamless. Take your time with this area and you can see where the track is closing in around the closure and you're done with your topper. And these are the little clips. The way that you put them on is you let the teeth face up on the unit. See, they're going to face up with the rubber backing towards the unit. My cute little topper is finished. I hope yours is finished too, and I hope it came out well. I put the clips on, and I don't have any hair to clip onto in front, but this topper is still going to work for me. All that's left to do is some texturizing of this curly unit. 
and I'm just going to fluff the hair out. Use this comb to get it kinky like I want. I'm loving it already. I have a special plan for it. I still want some of the curls in there, but I want it mostly natural texture. Nice. Oh, I love this. And I've got plenty of hair back here. And just get the bag like that. Even if you don't have hair in front like me, it works great with a scarf. And now I am ready for the beach or whatever with my quick topper that I made in no time. You can too. Why not subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are always know when I'm working my magic. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>